Ah, the old doctors known as uh, playing too many video games. Yeah, work of fiction. Disclaimer, you guys already know this. Stick, Deep Silver, known for their good games and bad games. It's kind of in between. Why is not? Very uh, over dramatic. I might even pronounce it because I'll butcher it. Alright, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and whatever time zone you are in. Welcome to Shinmaya. Shinmayu 3. I think it's Shinmayu 3. Walk through. Anyway, let's do it. Okay, so... Let's just, just address the elephant in the room. Shinmayu... Shinmayu 3 was a dumpster fire. It, it was, like, horrible. Like, pretty horrible. People really just gave the game, like, low scores because it... Oh, wait. I, I guess they're just gonna show us the intro or something or some kind of, like, intro movie. From a distant land in the east, from across the sea, he shall appear. That seems like a foreshadowing. He does not know of the strength hidden within him. The strength that would destroy him. The strength that would fulfill his wishes. When he is ready, he shall seek me out. And we shall brave together the rocky path. I shall wait. This encounter has been my destiny since ancient times. I think it's a true. dragon shall emerge from the earth, and dark clouds shall obscure the heavens. A phoenix shall descend from above. Its wings will create a purple wind. In the midst of the pitch black night, a morning star shall glisten alone. Her acting is so wooden. Like, is this a B list movie? Her acting's really wooden. Uh, I think it's called Shinmu... Shinmu. I think I was saying Shinmayu. Wait, wait. Shinmu 3. I'm, I'm gonna admit, I'm gonna be silent on this one. I gotta say, I, I wasn't really excited to play this game because I, I know about Shinmu history. I know it was popular in 1 and 2, and then they screwed it up in 3, like, royally. Like, they screwed the pooch. And I remember, yeah, growing up, I, I wanted to try it out, but I wasn't, like, in a rush to try it out. Because it came out, 1 and 2 came out in the Sega Dreamcast. Oh, wait, Sega Dreamcast. No, the Dreamcast error. And it was pretty much highly acclaimed. People liked it. So, I can already tell this is going to be a bad game. I can tell that, that girl's acting was just terrible. Like, it's pretty wooden. It, it, it was pretty wooden. Well, let me go silent and enjoy this really bad third sequel that they screwed the pooch.
Dear Shenhua, my work is done. The Phoenix entrusted to our people is now complete. The time of destiny has come. Go with the one who holds the Phoenix, Shenhua, and find the proof. Yield yourself to the light and go together. I shall give you the family treasure, the Sword of Seven Stars. Think of the sword as a part of me and keep it with you. I shall always watch over you. What the? Leo. Right. Dragon and a phoenix. Just like the mirrors. So, this is what he was working on. From a distant land in the east, from across the sea, he shall appear. He does not know of the strength hidden within him. The strength that would destroy him, the strength that would fulfill his wishes. When he is ready, he shall seek me out. And we shall brave together the rocky path. I shall wait. This encounter has been my destiny since ancient times. A dragon shall emerge from the earth, and dark clouds shall obscure the heavens. A phoenix shall descend from above. Its wings will create a purple wind. In the midst of the pitch black night, a morning star shall glisten, alone. What is that poem? It has been told in the village since long ago. The one who holds the phoenix. That's Bailu Village. We might find some clues about my father there. Let's go. Sure. Hey, Shenhua. We have to get to the village. Let's go. Do you have any idea where your father might have gone? No, I don't. Hmm. Has this ever happened before? With my father? Yeah. Has he ever disappeared without telling you? No, never. I see. Are you certain that letter from the cave was... It's his handwriting, without a doubt. Okay. Are you sure? It didn't contain any clues? Uh... Shenhua? 
I don't know. Honestly, I don't care about the letter. I just want to find my father. I understand. Guess I'll go after Shenhua. Liu. Xinhua, who's this? This is Liu. He saved me from drowning in the river. <clears throat> Did something happen? A group of thugs tore through here two days ago. Oh no, really? Yeah, the kind we don't normally see around here. Let's... Keep moving. Hey, Shenhua. What's the matter? Does the village usually have gatekeepers? No. There's no need for them. Bailu is a very peaceful place. Are you sure about that? Because... They said some thugs came by. Yes, but it sounds like they're not from around here. Still, that's worrying. Even for you? Yeah. I admit, I'm a little unsettled myself. The village feels different somehow. I can imagine. Let's ask around for some clues. Let's go. That was a pretty old bridge. Indeed. That's the Verdant Bridge. That's what it's called. Yes. It's been in Bailu for a while. Is that the village up ahead? Yes. Everyone lives up ahead. We can ask around. Someone's bound to know something. Let's not waste another second. I have to go with Shenhua.
I'm sure we'll find out more about your father. Thanks. You investigate here, Ryo. I'll try another settlement. there. Aha! Come to apprentice under me, have you? Oh, nothing. Fear not, for I am the great Suza Xiong. I can forge a formidable master out of the most hopeless of pupils. You stand before a Chun Tai cheer master. Um, yeah, I'm good, thanks. Have you seen Mr. Yuan? Do I look like I'd know anything about that? Right. Come by any time if you've got any burning questions about the great Chun Tai Chi. Will do. Excuse me. I'm looking for Mr. Yuan. I wouldn't say I'm proud of it or anything, but I don't exactly know many people around here. I see. I need help with something. Have you seen Mr. Yuan? Nope. All I care about is martial arts. Okay, then. I need help with something. I'm looking for Mr. Yuan. Don't bother me. I have to practice my martial arts. Okay, then. I need your help with something. Have you seen Mr. Yuan? I'm not supposed to be talking right now. My master says I have to practice more. I'm looking for him. Go ask one of the other kids running around. Okay. I need help with something. What do you want? I'm looking for someone named Yuan. No, I haven't. Not since I saw him go to that house over there, but that was a while ago. Okay, thanks. Excuse me. What is it? Have you seen Mr. Yuan? He occasionally came to visit Joe next door, but Joe is likely working right now. Maybe Joe's daughter Lean knows where he is. I see. Hi there. I'm looking for Mr. Yuan. He occasionally came to visit Joe next door, but Joe is likely working right now. I see. I need help with something. Have you seen Mr. Yuan? I don't know. Really? I don't know anything. I see. Lucky hit. Hello, will you try lucky hit? Now then, pick a platform.
It happens. Care to try again? Maybe some other time. Hope to see you again soon. Lucky hit. Hello. Will you try lucky hit? Maybe some other time. Hope to see you again soon. Excuse me. Oh, hello. How about a game of lucky hit? Um... Come on, come on, try it. Not right now. Oh, so you don't like lucky hit. I need help with something. Do you know Mr. Yuen? My mom told me not to talk to strangers. Got it. Hey, um, I'm looking for Mr. Yuen. My mom told me not to talk to strangers. Got it. Excuse me. Hey there, lad. How about a game? Do you have a moment? It costs 10 yuan to play. You open your wallet, or I shut my mouth. I could use your help with something. I'm looking for Mr. Yuen. He shows up at that house every now and then. Why don't you go ask there? Thanks a lot. There's something I want to ask. <coughs> Have you seen Mr. Yuen? Where did you come from, young man? What? There's always something interesting coming in from the Lijiang River. I wonder what's going to show up next. Hey, I'm looking for Mr. Yen. Hmm. Now where could he have gone to? I need to go. Hey. And who might you be? You're not a face I recognize. I've got a question. Have you seen Mr. Yuen? I'm sorry, dear, but could you save that for later? This is no place for idle chit-chat. Hello? Uh, looks like no one's home. Hello? Uh, it seems nobody's home. Maybe I'll talk to a few folks around here.
Pardon me. Um... Let's have a look around here first. I should talk to more people around here. I should talk to more people around here. I need help with something. Do you know Mr. Yuen? My mom told me not to talk to strangers. Got it. Hey there. Yeah? That looks great. <laughs> yep, Shenhua tells me that, too. You know Shenhua? She's my friend. Is she your friend, too? <laughs> yeah, she is. Say, do you know Mr. Yin? Uh, no. He's a stonemason. Mason, just like my daddy. Your dad is a stonemason as well? Yep. Can I talk to him? Uh-huh. He comes home at seven at night. He does. Okay. Thanks. Mm-hmm. No problem.
Hello? Uh, guess I'm too early. I'll try again later. Excuse me. Sorry, but can it wait? Sorry to bother you. Um... Oh, hey kid. What do you want? Hi there. Aha! Come to apprentice under me, have you? Oh, nothing. Fear not, for I am the great Suza Xiong. I can forge a formidable master out of the most hopeless of pupils. You stand before a Chun Tai cheer master. Um, yeah, I'm good, thanks. Have you seen Mr. Yuan? Do I look like I'd know anything about that? Right. Come by any time if you've got any burning questions about the great Chun Tai Chi. Another time, perhaps. Hi there. I'm looking for Mr. Yuan. Do I look like I'd know anything about that? Right. Let's have a look around here first. Maybe I'll talk to a few folks around here. Pardon me. Who's there? May I talk to you for a moment? What is it? Oh, hi, mister. You know this man? He's my friend, Daddy. Well, get to it. I haven't seen you in around. If you know anything, I... Huh? What happened? Some thugs I'd never seen before showed up and wrecked my place. Thugs, huh? Why would they do this? It's me. They asked if I was a stonemason, so I said yes. Then they just went crazy. Why stonemasons? They were definitely looking for something. What did they look like? Well, they weren't from around here, that's for sure. There were two of them. One had a shaved head with a tattoo on it. Don't tell me. They went to Yuan's place too? I don't know. Yuan was in the quarry when he disappeared. You're kidding. Those thugs might have something to do with that, too. 
Maybe. I'll be sure to tell Shenhua. It's gotten so dark. Maybe I should head back to Shenhua's house. Anything new, Ryo? Not about your father, no. I see. It seems that the thugs invaded Mr. Joe's home, though. Joe, you mean Ling's house? They must have my father then. We shouldn't jump to conclusions. I'm going with you tomorrow. What? I can't stop thinking about these thugs. I want to know more. All right, then. We'll go together. Good. Yeah? I've been thinking about the thugs that went to Ling's house. And? I don't think it was a coincidence. I'm with you. They must have had a reason. Let's talk to the villagers together tomorrow. Okay. I want to ask some questions of my own. Hey, Xinhua. What is it, Ria? Did your father say anything to you? You know, before he left? No, nothing. But that wasn't unusual. Hmm. Okay. Although... Although what? Now that I think about it, he turned back to look at me several times as he headed for the cave. Interesting. Maybe... he had a feeling he wouldn't be coming back. Hey, Xinhua. What is it, Ria? I've been thinking about the cave. It was my first time in the cave as well. I had no idea he was crafting something on this scale. I see. The phoenix and dragon are exactly the same as those on the mirrors. And in my father's letter, it says if he knew you would have the mirrors, and that you'd come here. Exactly. But how? We won't know until we ask him ourselves. I guess not. Hey, Xinhua. What is it, Ria? You're coming with me to the village tomorrow, right? Yes. We'll find my father. Together. I need help with something. What is it, Ria? You're coming with me tomorrow, right? Tomorrow we should ask as many people as we can. Agreed.
I shouldn't go in without permission. Good morning, Liu. Good morning. Did you get enough rest? Yeah. Hey, um... Yes? We should get ready to go. Got it. Let's get moving. Hey, Xinhua. Yes? We should get ready to go. Okay. Let's get moving. Your house is pretty far from the village, huh, Shenhua? Oh, yes, I suppose you're right. Is there a reason for that? The quarry could be one. Sorry? The quarry. It's a special one that even I'm not allowed to enter. Ah. So, your house is there to protect it? Yes, I believe so. Father didn't tell me anything about it, though. I see. Do you know what the dragon and phoenix in the quarry were for? No, I don't. But your father carved them, right? Yes, he must have. He wasn't alone, though. What do you mean by that? They must have taken generations to complete. So, you think your grandfather worked on them, too? Yes, possibly even further back than that. Have you heard any stories about them? Not a single one. My father always said he'd tell me when I got older. Then how do you know it has so much history? Well, everyone in the village has history. The villagers? Yes. Generations of stonemasons, hunters, and farmers have all lived here. The same goes for the cattle wranglers. They've been here for ages. Oh, yeah? That's just how things work here. <laughs> 